Hi, my name is Dr. Ronnie Meche Guang, and for the next 30 minutes, you, me, we are going to be together as we watch one of the biggest duels ever on television. This is going to be a challenge, a challenge between two of Uganda's finest academic institutions. They're going to be squaring it off. They're going to be discussing issues of monetary policy, fiscal policy, financial concepts, you name it. It's all going to be right here on this stage. What's going to be up for grabs? Well, the opportunity to walk away with your head held high. A chance to say that you've got swag. What about millions of shillings in academic bursaries? All that and more, ladies and gentlemen. But before we kick off the competition, I've got one simple question. Will you take the challenge? Welcome back to Challenge, powered by Bank of Uganda. And even you can get involved in all the fun. You can follow us on Twitter, you can check us out on Facebook, or actually you can go to our website. But better yet, why not play the game live here on this TV station? You know, what are they playing for? They're playing for money. And a lot of people are wondering, man, oh man, huh? when I get my money and I want to send it to people, what can I use? Well, there's so many different platforms that you can use. And What's going to happen is that during the case of the show, we'll probably give you a chance to find out more about them. But when we're finding out, you actually need somebody to answer questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our contestants in today's semi-final on the challenge, powered by Bank of Uganda. It's West meets Central, as in Tari School, renowned for OBs like His Excellency, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni and Mount St. Mary's Namagunga, renowned for OGs like former Vice President Specioza Wandira Kazibwe. The prize is a place in the final. It's another one. Welcome back to Challenge Powered by Bank of Uganda. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be hanging out with the ladies from Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. Hey ladies, how are you doing? Fine. Ladies, are you ready to take the challenge? Yes, yes. we are. Okay. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we've got entire school. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Mm -hmm. Guys, you guys ready to take the challenge? Yes, yes we're ready to take the challenge. All right, good. So, before we start off, what's your strategy for today's show, you guys? We want to keep focused, yeah. we want to do our best, and God will do the rest. Mm. Mm. And ladies, what's, what's your challenge, by the way? Huh? How are you guys going to prepare and, and win this one here? Um, well, just setting this place on fire. Setting this place on fire? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have fire extinguishers on standby, because <laughs> Mount St. Mary's is going to be on the rampage. The first category is just as usual. We have got what they call cumulate. Hands on the buzzers, please. It's going to be the fastest fingers that can activate. You answer the question correct, I give you 10 points. You get the question wrong, life moves on, and I can hand it over to the opposing team for them now to recoup five points. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's play Cumulates. Question number one. Which of the following can cause a rise in inflation? Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. D, a combination D is of correct. AMC. They are on the board. Next question. The process of calculating what Uganda shillings received in the future are worth today is called? Yes, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. A. A, calculating the yield to majority is incorrect. I hand it over to entire school. Would you like to take the challenge? Yes. yes. For five points, what is the answer? The answer is D. D. D, none of the above? Yes. Unfortunately, it's called discounting money. But life goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, next question. A dash is a vehicle used by prudent, resource-rich countries. Ah, thank you very much for getting my attention and subtracting five points from your score. Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. Are you ready to take this challenge? Yes, we are. Can you please give me the answer? A, sovereign wealth. That is correct. They have got 10 points, ladies and gentlemen. 
BOU's inflation target is? Yes, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. A, a point. A is correct, ladies and gentlemen. They have got 30 points, ladies and gentlemen. Next question. Currently, the bank rate is... The... Thank you very much once again. Please let me finish. Please take off another five points from Intari School. Huh? And then we continue. So, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga, would you like to take the challenge? Yes, we're taking the challenge. What is the correct answer? A. A is the same as the central bank rate. That is not correct. Mm -hmm. But would you like me to give you the challenge, Intari? Yes. yes. What is the correct answer? The answer is C. C. C is correct. It's four percentage points higher than. So we give them five points. Next question. The build-up of risk in one part of the financial system that spreads to other parts of financial systems at a particular point in time due to common exposures such as interbank borrowing is known as yes mount saint mary's namagunga what's it gonna be d contagion risk. that is correct let's give them 10 points <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that brings us to the end of this category this is what we call Accumulate. And as the scores stand, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga is at 40 points, Intari is at negative 5, but trust me, these are just numbers. Action is coming up. The next round we have is called Odd Man Out. This one is a round robin. Please take your fingers off the buzzers. I'm going to start it off with you, Intari School. Question number one. Okay. Odd Man Out. Commercial bank lending rates could rise because of the following, okay? Which one is the odd man out and why? The answer is A. The answer is A, that is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give them five points. But the question is, why? Because the other three are reasons why the commercial banking, bank lending rates, yes, um, do not raise. Mount St. Mary's Amagunga, would you like to have a chance to get five points? Yes. Go ahead. Kindly don't explain it. Me. Why? Don't mm -hmm. um, A is the correct answer because when the government uses C bills to borrow money from the public, yes. they're reducing the money in supply and this will raise the rates. Let's give a huge round of applause, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. The next one. Which is the odd man out with respect to circles and why? Okay. The okay. answer is D. Credit rating efficacy does not apply to circles. Thank you very much. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They get their full 10 points. That is very good. So that brings us to the end of this category. As it stands, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga is in the lead with 40 points. In Tari School with 15 points. This segment coming up can actually be what they call a game changer. Ladies and gentlemen, we call it Memorize. We ask you only to focus on the screens and remember what you saw. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your images. So, let's kick it off. Timothy, what did you see? I saw Crane Bank. You saw the Crane Bank logo? Yeah. That's correct. Let's give him 10 points, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Emily, what did you see? The Centenary Bank logo. You saw the Centenary Bank logo. Let's give him 10 points too, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Capacity, what did you see? I saw a Western Union logo. Western Union logo, let's give them a huge round of applause. 10 points to that. Nikita, what did you see? Uh, 10 shillings coin of Bank of Uganda. That is correct, let's give her 10 points. What did you see, Emma? I saw a Buckley's logo. Buckley's logo, that is correct, let's give them 10 points. What did you see, Nisa? I saw the note for 10 rand. Note for 10 rand from which country? South Africa. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it 10 points. 
Back to you, Timothy. What did you see? I saw a logo of Cairo Bank. Logo for Cairo Bank. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Give a huge round of applause. How much is it? Back to you, Emily. What did you see? <laughs> a pound. What did you see? A pound. A note. A pound. A note for a pound. What denomination? Um, is it in 100? That is. What's the denomination? 10. 10 pounds? That is totally incorrect. Okay. So you are lying about what you saw. So please dock them 10 points. What did you see? I saw a 20 pound note. 20 pound note from which country? Great Britain. That is correct. Let's give them 10 points, ladies and gentlemen. Back to you, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. What did you see? Hard drive is empty. Entire school. Did you see anything else? I saw a Bank of Uganda note with Idi Amin. You saw a Bank of Uganda note with Idi Amin. What was the denomination? It was 20. 20? Thank you very much for lying to me. Let's remove 10 points from Entari School. It was actually 50. Ladies and gentlemen, did any of you guys see anything else? Did you see anything else? No. Mount St. Mary's Namagunga in a slim lead of 60. In Tari School, 55. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> this is what you call the challenge, powered by Bank of Uganda. When we come back, I'm going to be playing a brand new game. This is the semi-final. We're introducing a totally new concept, but to see it, you got to be there. So, we'll be back right after this. Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys, how are you guys going to handle going forward there? What's your strategy going forward? Uh, we are cementing our team. We're making it stronger now. What are you going to do? Uh, swap. Mm -hmm. All right. And who are you going to swap? Nisa. Nisa. And you're bringing on? Benna. Benna. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Benna. <laughs> and a huge round of applause for Nisa. Team in Tare. So how are you going to handle the pressure and cool down? We've mastered the game. Yeah. You've mastered the game. All right. So I wish you guys the best. This is a category where you're going to need to have a very level head. We call this advantage. So, Mount St. Mary's Amagunga, who's your strongest player? Emily. Emily, walk on down. Let's give it up for Emily from Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. Tari School, who's your strongest player? Timothy. Timothy, head on down, head on down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, question one. I hand it over to you, Timothy. Currently, there are no non-tariff barriers in the East African community. True or false? False. That is correct. We give them 10 points, ladies and gentlemen. Question to you, Emily. Nationals of Burundi, Uganda, Rwanda, and Tanzania are not required to pay for work permits in Kenya. Is that true or false? True. That is correct. It is 1-1. One, one. Rebasing the GDP is one of the ways that countries expand their economies. Is that true or is it false? It's false. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We give 10 points to entire school. The governor and the deputy governor serve fixed five-year terms in office. Is that true or false? False. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Timothy, prior to the economic reforms in the 1990s, Uganda was the only country that had fixed exchange rate, capital, controls and sovereign monetary policy. True or false? False. That is correct. You have got three out of three so far. Let's give a huge round of applause to entire school. <laughs> the Bank of Uganda mainly adjusts the reserve requirements for prudential supervision purposes. True or false? True. That is correct. It is three out of three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unbelievable. These guys are totally on fire. So, let's play Advantage, Sudden Death. 
all members of the euro area are members of the European Union and vice versa. True or false? False. That is false. You are correct, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give another 10 points to the entire school. The risk of disruption to financial services that is caused by an impairment to all or parts of the financial system has the potential to have serious negative consequences for the real economy. Okay? So tell me, what is this? Is this cataclysmic risk, a perfect storm, systemic risk, or sovereign debt risk? <laughs> See. Systemic risk is correct, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Namagunga has 10. <sighs> Can't you guys fail something? What image of a traditional regalia is depicted on the silver foil of a 50,000 shilling note? A, bark cloth, B, shields, C, cowrie shells, D, spears. It's B, shields. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Your question, Emily. Bank of Uganda controls the extent of credit creation by commercial banks through hey. cash reserve requirements is not wrong at all. Let's give her 10 points, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! That is 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed all the questions. There's nothing we can do. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Head on back to your team. Unbelievable stuff. Timothy and Emily. This is what we're talking about. Pure action, adrenaline at its best. But, you know, at the end of the game, there can only be one winner. Because as, it's, as we speak, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga has the slimmest of leads, 110, versus Intare's 105. Right now, it's still anybody's game. Because we move on now and play a brand new segment. We call it All or Nothing. Simple. I give you five questions. You answer all five of them correct, I give you 50 points. You get any wrong, you get nothing. And then the opposite team can take up the question and get 25 points. Mount St. Mary's Namagunga, will you take the challenge? Yes, we'll take the challenge. Let's hear it for entire school, will you take the challenge? Yes, we'll take the challenge. All right, let's play. All or nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, question goes to Mount St. Mary's, Namagunga. Money has four roles. One, medium of exchange. Two, standard of preferred payment. Three, store of value. And four, as a unit account. All those are roles of money. Is that true or is that false? It's false. It's false, okay. Treasury bills are considered a more liquid asset than gold. Is that true or false? It's true. Okay. The 1,000 shilling transaction fee being levied by some Forex bureaus is a BOU requirement. True or false? It's false. It's false. Israel uses the Israeli dinar as their currency. Is that true or false? It's false. It's false. A mutual fund is a depository institution. Is that true or is that false? True. False. False. Ladies and gentlemen, Mount St. Mary's Amagunga were asked to answer all five questions. If they got even one wrong, they will not get the 50 points. But unbelievably, they got every single one right! 50 points to Namagunga! That takes them up, whoa! Unbelievable, but true. The challenge has been thrown down. If you look at their scores right now, they had 160 big ones, Mount St. Mary's Namagunga, versus Intari at 105. Will you take the challenge, Intari School? Yes, yes we'll, we'll take, take the, the challenge. challenge. Now you see me intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Your questions, entire school. 
vehicle and house insurance rates are regulated by the Ministry of Finance. True or false? False. All commercial banks give out credit cards to customers. Is that true or is it false? True. It's true.